Meghan Markle's father will not attend the royal wedding tomorrow. He is recovering from surgery. Minutes ago, Buckingham Palace announced Prince Charles will walk Meghan down the aisle. Terry Okita reports for WJZ from Windsor. Fans from around the world have converged with high spirits and optimism for tomorrow's royal ceremony. The cake is frosted. The choir is warmed up. Everything is ready to go for the long-awaited royal wedding, except for one major detail. Since Meghan Markle's dad won't be at the wedding, who will be walking her down the aisle when she marries Prince Harry? Whoever's closest to her and who she feels the connection with, they should have the honor of walking her down the aisle. Royal watchers Tiffany Allman and her friends are all in agreement about the bride-to-be. She has such good style. I think however she comes down the aisle, it's going to be fabulous. Royal correspondent Roy Anika says the run-up to royal weddings is usually much smoother. We've been told by Kensington Palace that you know, far from being absolutely um, debilitated by what's been going on, she is carrying on, trying to carry on as normal. Markle was seen smiling yesterday as she and Harry headed to the dress rehearsal for their big day. Fans have been camping out for days trying to secure the best spot possible to see the newlyweds during their carriage ride. It's to get front position. It's, uh, you know, it's history in the making. So there's no second chance at this. This is it. Michelle Paggi traveled for 24 hours from Australia to be here. They're going to be waving. They're going to be happy. I'm just going to see the first uh, joys of marriage. Tomorrow, well-wishers of all ages will line the streets outside Windsor Castle to see that joy. Terry Okita reporting for WJZ. <laughs> and don't miss a single moment of the royal wedding, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. CBS News coverage will begin at 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's in less than 24 hours right here on WJZ.